Wisconsin is in the midst of a huge transition, moving away from fossil fuels that harm the environment to renewable sources of energy. That transition picked up speed the past few months with several big announcements. Susan Simon has more. Drive through the countryside these days and you'll see a glimpse into Wisconsin's future. Renewable energy led by solar power is fueling the transition to carbon free. And the timing's right uh, for this volume of solar to come onto the system. For decades, solar was so expensive, few could afford it. But that is changing at a rapid pace. Uh, solar is seeing significant decreases in costs. Uh, to install the facilities and uh, we're also seeing significant gains in performance of the solar facilities. On Earth Day, Madison-based Alliant Energy received unanimous approval from the Public Service Commission to build six new solar farms across the state. These are very much economic catalysts uh, for these communities. Uh, these are lease payments to landowners that provide a complementary revenue stream uh, to their broader business. And these are critical construction jobs. There are 20 solar farm projects in development across Wisconsin. Part of it is economics. Part of it is climate change. Part of it is their, their investors are demanding, uh, are demanding that companies are more uh, responsive. Tom Content is the executive director of the Citizens Utility Board. What do you think it's going to mean for our electric bills? The cost profile of energy has changed so dramatically over the last 10 years and solar prices have come down so dramatically that customers can see savings but the challenge with solar is that we'll get hit with a billion dollars of upfront more than a billion dollars of upfront costs as you put all these things in because all with this technology all of the costs are kind of shoved to the front. The majority of electricity in Wisconsin has been generated by coal and natural gas, but times are changing. The retirement of Columbia uh, for all of us feels like the end of an era. In February, Alliant announced the second largest coal plant in the state, the Columbia Energy Center in Portage, will shut down in four years. Our employees who've, uh, you know, they spent their lives uh, making sure these plants were safe and reliable and, and low cost to operate. Uh, now we're going to be working with them to find uh, another skill set. For nearly 50 years, Columbia has powered half a million Wisconsin homes. Will solar and wind be able to produce enough reliable energy to replace what will be lost by closing the plant? So we have a lot of experience operating large volumes of renewable. Uh, we've been doing that uh, in Iowa, which the majority of the energy to support Iowa customers comes from renewable energy. Storage of the energy produced by sun and wind remains the biggest challenge. A technology race is on to find a cost-effective solution, and Alliant has a diverse backup plan. Uh, we just started operating our advanced uh, performing natural gas facility last year uh, down in Beloit, and that offers a very strong complement to ensuring that uh, we're able to provide cost affordable energy. When the wind's not blowing and the sun's not shining now, we can have these very efficient, very responsive, uh, low cost natural gas units uh, pick up that load and, uh, and really ensure reliability for our customers. There is so much societal, economic, and even political pressure to move fast with this. I think the challenge really is trying to manage what is a really rapid transition. Investors want it, the public, generally supports that. Um, but the challenge is just managing this transition and doing it in a way that we don't break the bank on the way to making, make, uh, to creating the, this cleaner future. Alliant hopes to break ground on its solar projects this summer and plans to file for six more with the PSC. Alliant says it will work with the 110 employees affected by the closure of Columbia to find jobs within the company or train for new careers.